guys on this video we're going to see how to create this design using Procreate, Photoshop and Illustrator. We're starting by creating a custom lettering on the iPad Pro using the Procreate app. The brush I'm using is the solid brush and is available on the link in the description. Now that the lettering is ready, we're going to create a graphic in Illustrator to add it on the design. We open Illustrator and we create a new file 2000 by 2000 pixels. We take the pen tool and we create a path. Then we create a circle. I'm holding the shift key to make a perfect circle. We apply a gradient to the fill of the circle and we remove the stroke as we won't need it. We are going to edit the colors of the gradient, but first let's have a look at the Adobe color combinations. If we open the swatches panel and go to this icon here, which is the Adobe color themes, there are available a ton of color combinations to use. So when we find one we like, we're going to the three dots and we can add it to our swatches. I have already added some on mine, so I'm not going to add any now. So we select the circle with the selection tool and we open the gradient panel. If we click on the empty space here, we can add more colors to the gradient. So we add a total of five colors. Leave about the same space between them, but you can also be more precise here if you set the percentage of the location. Then we double click on each one and we change the color to the theme we added earlier. We make a copy of the circle by holding the option or ALT key and we click and drag. We select both circles and then we go to Object, Blend, Make. Then we either double click the Blend tool or we go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. We change the spacing to specified steps and then we put something like 200. Then we select both the blend and the line and we go to object, blend, replace spine. Then we double click on one of the circles to enter the isolation mode. Now we can edit the size and the rotation of the circle to make it more dynamic. If we'd like to change the shape, we can either take the pen tool and edit the anchor points like that or if you're using a pen tablet as I do, it would be better to select the line with the selection tool delete it then take the pencil tool You can draw anything and it will have this color blend. If you see that the color blend is not smooth like that here, you can double click the blend tool and increase the specified steps. And then we can exit the isolation mode either by double clicking on the empty space or by clicking the arrows here. Now we're going to copy the graphic and continue the editing in Photoshop. We create a new file in Photoshop 2000 by 2000 pixels. 
we paste the graphic from Illustrator by clicking Ctrl or Command V. We will paste it as a smart object for now. I'm going to add a new background color. So I select the whole canvas by clicking Command or Ctrl A. Then with a regular marquee tool, I right click, click on fill and I select the color. Then I click on the empty space. Now we can place the custom lettering we created earlier. I'm clicking Command T to enter the pre transform mode and I reduce the size. I'm going to build it on the top. Then I would like to change the color to white. So I right click, blending options, color overlay, and white. Okay, now I would like to merge the color and not have it as an effect, so I will right click and rasterize layer style. I will also add a shadow at the bottom to make an illusion that this is from the actual object. I will make a new layer, take the gradient, change the color to black, and then make sure that one of the sides is transparent and the other is black. Also choose the radial gradient. I click and drag. Then I click Command T to enter the free transfer mode. Now I'm clicking Hold Shift so I can distort it. I put it like that. Enter and then I will reduce the opacity to around 30%. Now I would like to fix the sizes a bit. Ok, now I'm going to add some shadows. I'm going to start with the graphic. I'm taking the pen tool. I'm creating a path so I can draw with a brush and create a shadow. So I right click, make selection, ok. Then I'm taking the brush tool, I reduce the size, I right click, I select the smooth brush, this size looks good. The opacity can be 100% but I need to have the pressure sensitivity. I'm using a pen tablet so it's much easier with that. I am creating a new layer and I will make it a clipping mask by right clicking and create clipping mask. So whatever I will draw here, it will be visible only in the area that will have the graphic below it. Like that. I deselect by clicking in the empty space with the rectangular marquee tool and do the same on the top side. Then I would like to add some shadows created from the letters. So I duplicate the layer of the lettering and I make the bottom layer black by right clicking, blending options, color overlay and set the color to black. I right click and rasterize layer style. So if you see there is a black, then I right click and I convert to smart object because I would like to add a blur filter but still have control of the blur. So I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So I click command or control D, click and drag, enter. Because I only need the shadow on the graphic area, I'm going to make it a clipping mask. Also I will reduce the opacity. Now I would like to give some more depth, so I'm going to hide some parts of the lettering using a mask. I click the layer of the lettering and then mask. 
I'm taking the pen tool to, to create a shape similar to the graphic. So with the pen tool selected, I right click, make selection, OK. Then I have the mask selected. I'm taking the brush tool with a black color and a strong brush. I draw to hide whichever parts I like. Like that. I would like to copy the same mask on the shadow layer. So I click and hold the Option or Alt key. Then I click and drag the mask to the bottom layer. If needed, I can adjust the mask to hide some parts of the shadow. Now with the same way, I will add some shadows to the lettering. some shadows on the background to give some depth. Create a new layer, take the brush tool and draw the background to make the lettering stand out. Now I will try to add something like a light source on the top. I create a new layer, take the gradient tool, I will take a reflected gradient, color white, I will go somewhere in the middle, click and drag to the side. Then I click Command T, then I'm holding the Command or Control key to distort light. Then I would like to add some adjustment layers to change the contrast or the brightness and the color. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Till next time, like, share and subscribe. Bye.